Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ace Team. This is my YouTube channel for front-end web development. I do have several channels on YouTube, but over here I'm uploading workflow videos of uh, me doing websites and I'm working with HTML and CSS. I am learning JavaScript at the moment. And here on this video, I'm working on a project which I started. This is actually the second part. So have a look at the first part where I'm doing the desktop version of the same website. It's in a speeded up workflow video. This one is speeded up again. I wasn't rushing. I was just enjoying it and, you know, tweaking things here and there. But if you haven't seen the first part, maybe go and watch it so you can see the structure of the website. Because for this part, I only needed to make minor changes. And I know sometimes people say that it's good to start with mobile first, but it really depends on the design. You have to have a really good look at the design. On this one, I was working with the PSD file layout mockup, so I know what to follow. I had a lot of information there but i didn't have any template any code anything i built everything by myself and uh, recently i came to find out how good that is because i had the opportunity to work with um, something that was started by someone else and uh, it can those kind of things can get a bit messy and i think i'm going to make a video about that but um, now let's get back to the current project so yeah here what i needed to do is to um, actually replace the images because for the desktop version the side images they give you are squared and the ones that are for mobile version are more of a landscape they're much wider images now in the previous video i showed um, how i fixed the images because sometimes there could be issues with the images where they are transforming other than scaling and that can be really really bad so if you want to have a look at how i uh, resolve this issue you can have a look at the previous video part one now here i'm just gonna go ahead and continue working the same way so because I needed to have completely different images, I actually added both of them just on the ones that I didn't want it showing on desktop. I added a class of hide on the div that wrapped the image. So this way they only show up when uh, the width of the screen is, I think it was under 500 pixels. I may not be exact, but you know, it's just the mobile versions just for um, tiny screens. And I just uh, finished a few other things they were that were specified in the mock-up. And so this part is really, really much easier than the first part. What I remember about this part of the project when I was doing it, I had a bit of an issue with my media queries. And I did actually have to go Stack Overflow to ask because I didn't know what was happening. What was happening is that I said only one media query and it was supposed to target only smaller screens. Again, I don't remember exactly what I said it to, but it was just for narrow screens. And so this media query was not supposed to affect anything other than that. So basically, if I had a wide screen, it should not affect that. It should not mess up my website, but it was. It was actually affecting my website even outside of its scope, even outside of what I set it to. And it took me a while to figure out what's going on. I did post a question on um, Stack Overflow. When I got a response that was kind of really silly, what actually turned out to be the problem is that I forgot one tiny curly bracket and then messed up everything. And what I got as an answer on Stack Overflow is that someone was telling me that I didn't set up my media query rights, which um, obviously wasn't causing the issue in this case, because you can set up the media query and you can specify on which devices. If you don't specify which devices, it should affect more devices. So the more specific you are, the more targeted devices you're going for. But if I'm not specifying the media queries, still works it's not messing up the website it's not a reason for it to behave in a abnormal way and i knew that but anyways long story short the whole issue was just just tiny curly bracket that i left because i commented something out but i didn't comment um, the curly bracket and I discovered this by actually going uh, exactly to the elements I saw which element was not behaving the way it's supposed to and that's how I discovered it just <laughs> hiding in there But that's pretty much all that was happening in this part of the project I mean again, it was a very very small part of the project the main part is the desktop version because obviously there is a lot more content there and this is just simplified version and a lot of the elements are not showing but it does teach you how to think ahead you should have a look always at both versions so you can plan and you can build your html in a way that 
it can allow easier modification after um, because sometimes people forget to do that and again this is definitely a topic for another video um, what can happen along the line if the HTML is not set up correctly but that is all that I wanted to say and include in this video so thank you so much for watching and I do hope to see you next time bye for now